Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basis, and I'm coming to you today with a video all about what you should put in your personal statement. Before we start, you know how we do here. If you're new here, you may not know, but I love to create dialogue. So my pharmacy prospects, what do you think that you'll need to put into your personal statement? My practicing pharmacists, my veterans, my interns, what did you put into your personal statement? And why did you put that particular information in that statement? Stop this video right now. Go down to the comment section below and give me your thoughts. For starters, you should set yourself up good all across the board just in case one area of your application is not as competitive as another candidate. A lot of people overlook the personal statement because they feel that it does not weigh heavy into the application process, but everything that you submit to a school counts. Even though the admissions team looks at this personal statement very briefly, you still want to make a lasting impression. Your statement needs to be sweet and to the point. If there's a prompt, you need to follow that prompt. But if there isn't, a few things that I think you should include would be why pharmacy is your life's pursuit. Ask yourself, why pharmacy and not medical school or dental school? What inspires me to work towards a difficult goal? What experiences have prepared me for a profession based on helping others? Who is my role model as a pharmacist? And what qualities in him and her do I like? Why do I stand out as a candidate? Answering all of these questions will help you narrow down why you chose pharmacy, along with watching my video about discovering pharmacy, will help you create a better personal statement. You should also include experiences in pharmacy that the readers can relate to. Nothing too emotional, just something that's going to warm their hearts that will ultimately make them remember you. In a personal statement, you should never address transcripts, apologize for mistakes or underachievements. Instead, show the admissions team that you are accountable. You can show empathy to patients. You have people skills. You have good communication and you are able to pay close attention to detail. You are highly motivated and you're able to work around teams. Those are things that you want to show them that are your strengths. A personal statement only highlights details of your academics. I mean, you do have your transcript and you have your PCAT score and other things to vouch for that. You also want to highlight details of extracurriculum strengths that pertain to pharmacy. Including these things very briefly will not hurt you. If you do choose to address your weaknesses in your personal statement, I think that you should include some type of plan that is concise and very certain on how you plan to overcome that. Just a few tips to make sure that your personal statement is on game. Make sure that you start early so that you will have time to go back to add or omit things that you may or may not need. Make sure that you use proper grammar, punctuation, essay structure, just proofread, honey. As always, check the description box because I always have valuable information for you. I have also included a link this week of an editing site that briefly discusses how to write a personal statement. And I think that will be very useful for you. So make sure that you check that out. So my pharmacy prospects, was this video helpful to you? Last but not least, my pharmacy veterans, did I miss anything? Is there anything in this video that I did not include that I should have? Make sure that you comment down below as it can help myself in pharmacy prospects. For more videos like this one and how to apply and get into pharmacy school, make sure that you click right here to start watching the elementary school playlist. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basis. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.